In this demo, we will see how we can view relationships between assets and the tasks that we can perform in the analyst tool when viewing the relationship diagram. We will log into the analyst tool as a glossary consumer. Click open to open the library workspace. We can see a list of assets that we have access to. Click glossaries to view the assets in the financial glossary. We will open the gross profit business term. The analyst tool displays the term in the glossary workspace. In the general section, we can view the other assets that are related to gross profit. For a pictorial view of the relationships between gross profit and other assets, click the relationship view tab. The analyst tool shows a pictorial depiction of the relationships between assets. The direction of data in the relationship diagram is from left to right. Gross profit is displayed on the left. To the right are other assets which are related to gross profit. The color of each line depends on the type of the relationship between the two assets. The type of the relationship is denoted by its name on top of the line. The asset that we opened and the related assets form the first level of the relationship diagram. The next level of the diagram is based on the asset in the previous level. By default, the analyst tool shows two levels of the relationship view for the asset. We can change the view level to see more or less number of relationships in the diagram. To see all the available levels, select all from the relationship levels list. We can view up to 70 levels when we select all. The number of assets displayed in the diagram may be large when we select many levels or if the asset has many relationships. The analyst tool expands the relationship view to accommodate all the relationships or levels. Use the zoom in and zoom out icons to change the magnification of the view. We can zoom into a specific area of the relationship view to magnify the assets and relationships in that area. We can also click the restore zoom icon to rearrange the view to the original size. We can use filters to show only the type of assets or relationships that we want to see. We can create custom filters based on the levels, assets or relationship types. Create a custom filter to save and reuse the levels, assets or relationship types that you configure. We can provide a name and save the filter configuration to see the same levels, assets and relationship types once again. All glossary users can use the custom filters that we created across glossaries. If we do not intend to use filters, we can hide the filter panel. The context of the relationship view is based on the asset that we have opened. We can change the context of the view to another asset that is present in the relationship view diagram. The analyst tool rearranges the diagram with the selected asset on the left. To change the context of the relationship view to another asset, right click on that asset and select view relationships. To go back to the previous asset, click the asset name from the list of assets in the history drop down. We can export the relationship view diagram after we open it. Export the diagram to access it offline or to share it with users who cannot access business glossary. We can export the relationship view diagram to PDF and PNG formats. We can right click an asset to highlight its occurrences in the diagram. We can also view the occurrences of the asset in the next level, previous level and all levels. We can click an asset to view the asset details. The analyst tool displays the asset description, state of the asset and the number of occurrences of the asset. That completes this demo. To summarize, we saw how to view a pictorial depiction of the relationship between assets. We also saw the different tasks that we can perform in the analyst tool when viewing the relationship diagram. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.